Hey guys, it's your old pal Alice Cooper. Uh, basically, uh, this is spooktacular. So you're gonna be seeing a bunch of horror movies that have a Halloween theme to it. Uh, look for it all this month. <laughs> Tales from the Crypt presents Demon Knight. <coughs> well, uh, this one starts out with the Crypt Keeper. Um, you know, there's this guy that's do that's a uh, well. There's this this naked lady in in her bathtub, and uh, she basically just killed her. Her husband and buried a knife into her chest, into his chest, and uh, he's talking to, this, to somebody about it on the phone. And uh, she says, "Right now, he's in the basement cooling off. He's in the freaking bathtub with acid burning, okay, melting basically. And he's she's basically washing herself, and this guy turns out that's her husband." Uh, and she, and she says, what took you so long? Jesus, Jack, what kind of cologne? And she goes, ah! And, they, and the Crick Keeper is the director, and he goes, cut, 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 cut! What the hell is that? And you call that acting? Yes, uh, as a matter of fact, I do call that acting. Well, let me tell you something, pal. You're no Gory Cooper. You're not even a Robert Deadford. Another take like that, and you're about to bit parts for you, and I won't say what bits I'm talking about. And the and the guy is freaking John, uh, you know, the guy from Nightcore. You know what I'm talking about. And uh, and he goes and he pulls the mask off top of his head, and uh, he goes, director. <clears throat> Or they dig this guy up. <clears throat> and, he, and he goes, I give, I give, and I give. Oh, hello, kitties. <clears throat> Your old pal, the Crypt Keeper, has gone Hollywood in a big way. Care to see what I've been working on? <clears throat> so if you're ready, creeps, hashing up your rule cups. <clears throat> and hold on to your vomit bags. We're going to the movies. Lights, camera, action. I call this one Demon Knight. And uh, it starts out with this uh, this guy, uh, William Sadler. He's driving along, along in a stolen car. We'll find out later. And uh, he listens he listen to this song on the radio. And this freaking guy is chasing him, going like 200 miles per hour down the freaking road, by the way. <clears throat> Which is incredibly stupid, might, might I add. And, uh, <clears throat> and they crash. And, uh, they both walk away from the wreck, surprisingly enough. And the police officers show up and they go, Are you telling me that guy walked away, too? <clears throat> And then the, the, one of the guys is uh, Billy Zane. And uh, he goes, look, officers. We can hear, sit, stand here arguing about a traffic accident. Would you mind? God, his eyes are shining wide in his face. <clears throat> and uh, something's going on right over there. And uh, William Sadler comes, comes to this part <clears throat> where he, he uh, basically gets introduced to his character really fast. He uh, he's, 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 he comes to this car and uh, he gets this knife and he tries to steal it. And his kid comes goes up comes up to him, "Hey, Mister, are you still on my daddy's car?" And uh, freaking William tries to. His name, his name is Breaker, actually. 
and he uh, hands him a quarter and he goes, hey kid, how would you like a nice shiny quarter? And he goes, Ted, there's a guy outside trying to steal your car. And he goes, shoot, and he leaves. And he goes, uh, well, get him. And he says, he's gone, Homer, and, uh, you know, and again, the guy that was, owns the car. <coughs> and, uh, and, uh, they freaking call in to the police officer, and, uh, who's, it's the only the same guy from earlier. He's a sheriff, obviously. And he goes, Sheriff, somebody just died to steal Homer's car. And he says, Are you kidding? That talk of junk? <clears throat> Where was that? And, uh, caretaker says okay let's go <clears throat> he's teleported back to there by the way it's already an indication of what this guy is uh so he's um uh, william uh talks to this guy willie <clears throat> and he sits down and he has a he hands him a i don't know a booze uh whiskey you might say i guess that's what it is and uh, he says it ain't very subtle, but it does the trick. And uh, and, the guy, and Breaker asks him, "You know where I can bed down for the night?" And he says, "You know what? I just might have a place." And I want to go ahead and mention before this, he says that uh, God must be doing some serious thinking tonight. <clears throat> he says, "On second thought, <clears throat> should have given it all to the monkeys." And uh, Breaker says, "Maybe it's not too late." And uh, he says that. Uh, so what is this? Well, it used to be a church. It ain't a church no more. They decommissioned it back in the 50s. Back to lack of interest. <clears throat> and he says, uh, well, that's just the kind of place I'm looking for. And he's got, he's got his hand, and he's got like, these five, uh, six missile, uh, stars on his hand that are, that are uh, kind of misaligned in the form of a circle. Almost. You know, they're trying to get to the form of a circle on his hand. And he looks at it, and he goes, that's just the place I've been looking for. <clears throat> just the kind of place I've been looking for. And uh, there's this lady, uh, incidentally, uh, she, uh, she's like this, uh, I don't know, hotel manager, and, uh, and, uh, Willie uh, comes in and goes, gangway, I'm bringing in business. And, uh, the girl goes, uh, what kind of business? And that's Cordelia. And, uh, well, he says, I think he's looking for a room of his own, Cordelia. <clears throat> and, uh, and the lady goes, Geraldine, get over here. Geraldine, and I mean now. And it's uh, Jada Pinkett. She's playing one of the, she's playing Geraldine. And uh, she's trying to clean her stove. And... Uh, and she asks, and, and uh, Cordelia asks uh, Geraldine about her sheets. Uh, have you cleaned my sheets yet? And he goes, they're upstairs. And I couldn't get all those stains out either. She says, guacamole. <clears throat> and uh, so, basically, you know, they they, they, they sit down and they... Uh, they they basically hand uh, Breaker his his meal and like this little you know, bowl with a spoon and uh, he starts eating it and um, <clears throat> and uh, the Cordelia gets on the table and uh, she says uh, you go ahead and finish that I'll take care of dessert and the and the, and the manager goes. Get, get that uh, see off the table. And he, she meant the cat. I guess I get away with saying that. Get that pussy off the table. And uh, Corley, Cordelia gets off the table and she says I meant the cat. <laughs> and uh, <clears throat> basically, you know, Roach uh, shows up. And uh, Mr. Roach, who's like, you know, the guy from earlier that, you know, that uh, William tries to... Uh, Breaker tries to try to steal the car, and 
Well, actually, that was Homer's car that he tried to steal. Um, and he says, Good evening, motel people. And he grabs Cordelia, and uh, they decide to go up to go, uh, go up, you know, go into their room together. And uh, the manager walks up to, uh, to, get to Geraldine, and she says, Well, she's going to be needing clean sheets soon enough. It's going to be a long night. And uh, they basically, you know, they have this scene where uh, they basically, you know, they have sex. And, uh, and, he, and she says, and he says, oh, my nipples are smoking. And the freaking police officer go, goes upstairs after, uh, and the character, and the, uh, the freaking dude is with him, Billy Zane. Uh, I actually don't, can't remember his name. I think he's like the, the uh, collector, that's his name, officially. And, uh... <sighs> And, uh, so he asked him to check upstairs, you know, after, after the manager tells him. And, uh, he goes, get your clothes on, now! He's pointing a gun at him. Well, I didn't find what I was looking for, but I definitely found something upstairs. And she goes, and the, and the Roach goes, shut up, Wiley. And, uh, Willie is uh, something, I, I think this is his name. And, uh, so basically they have a little discussion about, about, uh, about what Breaker is, uh, is doing there. And, uh, he says that, uh, you know what? And he says, Willie, don't. And, uh, collector, and the collector says, um, I really like, I'd like to get what he, what he stole from me, please. And, uh, he says, why don't you just tell me where you hit it? You know, the... Police chief, at, he tells him, "Why don't you just tell me why you hit it and uh, save yourself the trouble?" And he says, uh, "And Willie, and Willie, basically, you know, he, he spills the beans. He he says, damn it, I I I knew what I didn't even know it.' Uh, and he says, "Willie, don't.' And he says, "Sorry, Mister." And uh, <clears throat> he's not what you he's not what he says he is. Please, Willie." And uh, he, he, he's got this key, and he pulls it out, and he says, uh, the collector says, and he has this, this uh, what do you call it, a, uh, uh, what do you call it, uh, it's this, uh, what do you call it, it's a, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a case thing, uh, it, it's a, you know, a thing that you carry around stuff in. And he opens it up and he says, why don't you put that right here? And then the police officer grabs it and he says, uh, I'll take that. You see, uh, we got a bit of a problem here. You see that both of those cars were reported stolen. So we're going to go down to the police station and we're going to sort this stuff out. He says, sorry about the inconvenience, folks. And uh, the collector says, why wait? And he punches, freaking punches the, 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 uh, the, the the police chief uh right, in, right his fist right to the freaking police chief's head and um uh, and breaker says give me the keys give me the gosh darn keys and the and the and the manager throws up you know while she barks a little bit and uh, cuz she's freaking appalled by this and uh and the uh, and the and the collector uh says heads up <laughs> and he uh, tosses the head in, into uh, <laughs> the, police, the police chief's hands, and uh, so uh, basically, it comes down to this to uh, to them saying, uh, and he decides to go ahead and uh, go outside because uh, you know, uh, and then he says, "Humans, you know, you worth the flesh you're printed on." And he says, okay, this property is hereby condemned. That's skipping ahead a bit. There's actually a few scenes to talk about, but I'm not going to get into it. I don't want to give away too much of the plot. I want to keep this short. So, basically, you know, he pulls the demons out of the ground, who, who spawn out of the ground uh, from his blood, and, uh, and he kisses one of, the, one of them on the head. And, uh, basically, you know, one by one, they all get taken out, uh, 
And basically, Geraldine has left. Uh, I want to mention that uh, that uh, there is a scene where they try to escape, and they have a, they have trouble doing that, obviously. But uh, what can I tell you? It's it's a it's not really about not a very complex story. I think it's like nine minutes long. Actually, it's not all all that long. But basically, you know, Geraldine is confronted by the collector, and uh, finally, you know, after a while, he says that. Uh, just give me what you what I want. Nothing will happen to you. Look, Geraldine, uh, I love you. Geraldine, I love you. You think you can find in your heart to uh, me? I didn't think so. Oh well, forget it. You will give me what I want. And as soon as you you, you discover that, the better. So basically, you know, uh, the, she has the scene where she decides to go to uh, after Breaker gets killed by the demons, and he says that uh, heck, this is before he he, he tells Geraldine the heck Breaker can't even get himself out, and uh, basically the man's dead meat, and if you stick with him, you will be too. And uh, so basically, you know, she has uh, what's left uh, it's blood of. Uh, Many different people, actually. One of them is, of course, uh, Jesus Christ. And uh, most of it is, is, is from a... Some of it is from a thief named Sarex. They, they stole, uh, stole the key and gave it, gave it to one guy. And uh, years later in World War II, uh, this guy uh, decides to go ahead and uh, stole the key of Con Breaker. And uh, at, that's the point where he hands him the key... And that's where he gets the stars on his hand. And he says that when the stars align on your hand, on that day, you'll know. And then Breaker dies. And uh, Geraldine is basically alone with the Collector. And uh, she basically, you know, she has basically what's left of the blood inside of her mouth. And, uh, and the Collector goes, okay, uh, no one's ever brought a demon knight to the other side before. And you'll be the first. Has anyone ever told you you're beautiful? Lord knows I've used it. And, uh, so, here's a time when the coy silence was, was appreciated one moon. And you're really starting to eat me off. Down, boy. <laughs> and, uh, so basically, uh, she spits the blood in into the collector's face, and, uh, he... he he basically, you know, he he reveals his true self, and he um, um, basically he explodes, and uh, Geraldine leaves with uh, the key uh, after she collects some of Breaker's blood, and uh, she boards this bus, and uh, she goes for a bit, and, the, and this black collector shows up, and uh, he says, "No, nah, it's okay. I'll wait for the next one," and then he starts. Uh, Whistling the the, uh, the, the uh, tales from the crypt theme, <laughs> and we come to this scene where. Uh, there's this rose in the ground, and the and the creek keeper reaches up to get it. He pulls it down, and and, and, he, and he he smells it a little bit, and he goes, "I love scar nations." And there's these two girls uh, next to him, and very pretty girls actually. And uh, he goes, "Well, you're lucky, because tonight's our big scream here." And he goes, "Uh oh, I think my." And then you see a bunch of his producers, uh, and they're looking at him with a guillotine. And then he goes, "Uh oh, I think my producers are trying to tell me something." And he goes, and the, he's he's on the he's he's underneath the guillotine, and the guillotine. Uh, and he says, "Uh oh, I think my producers are trying to tell me something." And he goes, well, "What do you know? I asked for final cut, and I got it." And he cut the freaking guillotine cuts his head off, cuts his head off, and he goes, "Uh." Now that's entertainment. Ha! <laughs> ha! 
And then, of course, the theme music comes up, and then the screen, uh, you know, you, you have this, like, two-minute cut, cutout scene where you, we see the credits and the music, and, uh, and then finally the screen turns to black, and then we get the rest of the credits. So, basically, you know, Tell Us From The Credit Demon Knight is a good movie for Halloween. Um, so... Tales from the Crypt presents Demon Knight is, of course, a visit by Bruce Campbell. So, what can I tell you? Uh, Tales from the Crypt Demon Knight is a good movie for, for Halloween. I recommend it. Uh, I think you can find it on television. Uh, I can't tell you where, but... Uh, it's on select channels. You just gotta look for it. I mean, really look for it. Um, I think you can find it on Blu-ray for like ten bucks. Uh, I recommend it. Actually, it's a good movie for Halloween. Uh, so anyway, go ahead and hit subscribe. Uh, watch some more videos. Uh, hit thumbs up to support the channel. Uh, leave a comment below. And uh, thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.